Oh, hey, folks. Bobby here. How do we do? Top of the morning means breakfast for the young man, getting some fuel in this early a.m. When I considered doing, I said, maybe I should start doing bagel reviews for the people and kind of just taking the world bagel by bagel, one bagel at a time. And I think that may be a good play. Problem is, right now, I'm in a little bit of a bagel hold. Kind of like a Netflix show hold where you don't, you're in between shows. You need to find a new show. I need to find a new bagel. It was always Brooklyn Water Bagel. Every single morning, I got to call a spade a spade here. They've been getting very inconsistent. Very. The cream cheese to bagel ratio is a total free-for-all right now. And I needed to make a stand. Now, don't get me wrong. I gave it a couple tries. And I kept going back. And I gave them the benefit of the doubt. But eventually, enough was enough. I'm doing my own bagels from here on out. That's just the case. That's just the way things are going to be right now. We're in a bit of a bagel hold right now. So what I'm going to do is weekly just fire in a new bagel till we find our standard bagel. It's hard out here in Los Angeles. If I'm back home in Jersey, back home in New York, I walk right down the block. We got ourselves a good bagel. We don't have that luxury right here right now, folks. So for the time being, the way we're approaching this, is I'm gonna make my own omelet. I'm gonna whip that sucker up. I'm gonna put a bagel there on the side and I'm gonna review it. But with that being said, don't think a Postmates order of a bagel ain't coming in hot real soon. Let me walk you through this bagel here. Product wise, not the best. That cream cheese, however, though, is smeared like an absolute pro, like an absolute champ. Notice how the bagel gets thicker here, and notice how I adapt that on my cream cheese wipe. A little thicker on the cream cheese here, that's to level out this heavy breading right here. See how that bagel's thick? Keep the cream cheese thick, layer by layer, ratio by ratio. Brooklyn Water Bagel, if you're watching this right now, please take notes. Now, a little bit more of a thin side, we go thinner side on the bagel right there. Toasted to absolute perfection, wouldn't expect anything less from the young man. Bada bing, bada boom, down the hatch we go. Now, again, with what we're working with, we're looking at a frozen bagel right now, which is not ideal. But we are in the middle of a bagel hold. Considering the circumstances, I'll take you through a little bite here of the omelet that always gets the kids going. What do you got, what do you got in there, Bob? Let me tell you so. Talk about a power omelet. We got spinach and we got peppers, lots of peppers. Hum now. Sure he did, sure he did. Every quality omelet deserves to go down the hatch, be assisted by some quality spring water. Living good. Absolutely, bagel wise. I'm a tough critic. I'm not just gonna shoot out high scores if it doesn't deserve a high score again. I think my cream cheese spreading was phenomenal this morning. I'm going 4.4. I'm going 4.4 out of 10. Yes, I said it. There it is. Supermarket bagel. Not going to get the job done. Brooklyn Water Bagel. I hope you're watching. It's time for a change. Bobby Bagel's coming in with another review this week. We're going to order something from Postmates. To walk us through the steps. Every bit of the way. Bite, bite, bite. That's a wrap. See you folks next time. This is Bobby from Bagel Reviews, checking out.